right there. Well, welcome back. Tonight on Animal Island, we're talking about the growing popularity of dog parks and the trend of breed-specific meetups. It's like a dating site for dogs, I guess. Joining me now is Robin Elman and Heather Lehrman of In-Home Pet Services. So uh, appreciate your time as always. Uh, Thank you. Of Thank 12 here. <laughs> and let's introduce, this is Herbie, right? This is Herbie, my Boston Terrier. <laughs> he's two, a little he's over two. two years old. He's still a playful pup, and he's the original member of the Long Island Smush Face group. <laughs> And we have 120 members now, so he's met a lot of friends. Okay, so um, <laughs> Heather, he is the uh, founding member of the Smush Face Group. What yes. is that? It is a group consisted of Boston Terriers, French Bulldogs, Pugs, Shih Tzus, <laughs> Pekingese. They're all small in size, and they all have the Smush Face, and they all get along great That's together. Fantastic. All right. So let's talk about this. this these meetups. Uh, explain that. <laughs> we I set up on Meetup.com. Okay. Anyone could join. It's free. Um, I decided there were no Boston Terrier groups on Long Island. I'm going to start one. He needs friends. So I started the group, and I started it August of 11, and now we have 120 members, and 30, 40, 50 come each time to a dog park that we pick. I'll ask the members what they like, and we've been going to the Eisenhower Park Dog Run. Okay. And we have one this Saturday at 11.30, and we always give away raffle prizes. We always donate money to local shelters. So it's for people to socialize, dogs to play, and to help Long Island. Okay, and is it is it breed specific? Like if, if, if you don't have a Boston Terrier, you can't come? I do invite some of our clients if they have a small dog that's friendly, and I know that they'll get along with the other dogs, they're welcome to come. Because it is a public park, so anybody can be there at the same time as the group. And they are a group, they tend to stick together, they know they're breed specific, they know that they're cousins of each other. And it's all smush faces, so we have pugs, you know, uh -huh. Boston Terriers, French Bulldogs, all the different flat face breeds. So Robin, what, mm -hmm. what are some of the benefits, tell me some of the benefits of, of, of these meetup places, these meetup parks. Well, that's definitely Heather's specialty, you know, she runs the meetup groups, but it's really good for different owners to get together and talk about same different issues that, you know, breed specific pets can run into, you know, health problems, where to find a pet sitter or a groomer or things like that. So what are, what are some of the uh, issues that as an owner of a pet mm -hmm. that you need to be concerned about if you've never gone to a dog park? What, what are some of the things yeah, you have to think about? That's a really important question. If you're new to an area especially or if you have a dog that's new for the first time, go to the dog park ahead of time, see what kind of place it is. Do they have a small dog area, a large dog area, what kind of people go there, what kind of dogs are there? Right. And if you're worried, you can even have a trainer come with you for the first time and kind of get to know how your dog acts with other dogs if you're not comfortable with that, that situation. That brings up a, a really good question. Mm -hmm. um, how, how do you approach another dog and a dog owner for the first time? It's your first time in a dog park. How, how do you introduce the dogs to each other? Yeah, well, at a dog park, it's kind of like a free-for-all. So that's why it's important. You don't know who's going to be there, what type of dogs are going to be there, what type of owners are there. That's why it's important to check the place out ahead of time mm -hmm. and bring somebody with you who's experienced in dog behavior. Because basically, when you bring them there, you're letting them loose. You're not going to keep them on the leash. It's best also not to even have a collar on them unless it's a quick-release collar. Okay, so that is uh, uh, like the, the meetups for, for dogs. The Boston <laughs> yes. Terriers, you already have a group going on. So uh, are there other uh, breeds that you're going to be working with? Well, it's Bostons, Pugs, French Bulldogs, the whole Bulldog family, and Shih Tzus, um, Pekingese. So we have a bunch that can join the, this specific group. But I actually have a client who started her own meetup group for doodles. All right. Well, it sounds like it's a <laughs> so group. So it's becoming a trend. It sounds like a lot of fun. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for coming by and, and sharing us all the information thank about you. that. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. And for more information about in-home pet services and the small breed meetups, sounds like it's a lot of fun there, just head to news12.com and click on numbers and links. We'll be right back.